Hi guys. I say hi guys. Say hi guys. Hey, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's the own girl, Bukola. Say me, Nicole Bukola. To my old subscribers, thank you for coming back. And to the new ones, you are welcome and if you are yet to click on that subscribe button please click on click on help your sister in this matter <laughs> oh you're welcome so the topic of today <laughs> is already obvious from the thumbnail don't kill yourself don't give yourself a attention. i've seen a lot of dm already on instagram on telegram on whatsapp Bukola, uh, hope this one will not do, 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 do. hope this one will not. don't wound yourself see the, i can understand the anxiety at this period i can understand the panic and everything you might be going through i have been there yes because even during my time i was the only one that filled the form for the four of us myself my husband my children so i started feeling from 5 p.m till like 1 a.m in the midnight i was still feeling i will feel i will eat i will feel i will eat and i will not be 100 percent correct because at the point i made so many mistakes i made so many mistakes and i realized that that was something you might even think you have done everything correctly and you can be i will say no it's not right <laughs> well some people even did mistakes and they got their visa without issue like me i did a lot of mistakes during my time in feeling i did a lot of mistakes but that does not mean i was not scared i was scared but at the same time i just let my mind because i i am not the um uh, view the visa officer that would that would grant the visa but i just know the god who would touch the heart of the person one of the mistakes i made was i chose rq rqf 11 or so instead of rqf 7. i was scared i was panicking then my wife was also having two names yeah while my other documents is having three names so i was i was also scared i was like god they should not just come and give me refusal that was part of the things i was scared of i was like hey hope i've not done this take -off. but i was still saying uk uk student visa is still the easiest visa to feel so far and it is point based you don't need to wound yourself as long as you have your cars you have your work you have your uh what again you have your statement of accounts everything if those ones are correct you don't have the issue the other feeling of home that you might have said no or said yes it might not apply to you because all those feelings does not even have any effect at, at some point it didn't because at some place i felt i feel yes some of my friends feel no and we all got our visa so don't be scared and <laughs> at this point if you are going to leave some telegram group so that you can have rest of mind for that period that you submitted your visa please leave the group so that you will not give yourself up attention yeah yeah um <laughs> um part of the people that used to preach make sure you're on the telegram make sure you're... but at the period of visa submission to the time you collect visa please leave the group not like leaving the group like put the group on mute or don't go there but i know that if you if you say you not go there they like you still go there somebody like me i will still go there so it's better i go come and delete telegram and come back later <laughs> it's 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 funny but it's true so that you will not wound yourself unnecessarily do you want to end up at the high ICU because you are expecting visa it's not easy yes it's not easy but don't wound yourself don't wound yourself <laughs> then another thing you can do in this period is put a call through to that your friend that you know can ginger you everybody has that kind of friend that can't that can give vibes talk to those kind of people so don't talk to negative people at this period don't talk to people that will that will kill your morale talk to people that will make you happy talk to people that would would um that will ginger you that will give you that ginger that you need some people they have to go and meet go to their friends go to club go to party to to make their mind be at sea, to make their mind okay if that is you please do nobody's gonna blame you for this time please do then another thing i know many people will say see half of my mind is in uk half of my mind is in nigeria <laughs> i understand <laughs> but just wait 
lay down beside tie your hand first before you before <laughs> Before you hold yourself and half in Nigeria and half in the UK, just let the visa enter your hand first and have it, have it that you to combat. Like some people's faith are higher, some people's faith. Like me, I was so scared that period. My husband was saying, Let us book um, flights now. When I was still expecting visa, I said, Ah, no, my dear, I can't book. Uh, uh, let's wait. <laughs> It was funny. My husband was like, "What is it? They will give us. They are giving everybody. Why would they give us? Did you lie in your statement of account?" I said, "No." Did you forge your document? I said, "No." So, so let's. I was like, ah, "We don't know." At that time, during our time, there was still priority visa. So I did priority. Then the, the family, my husband and the children, did um, um, standard. But the visa came out in one week. So it was just one week of depression for me, one week of scaring and like but unlike now, it is 50 working days. <laughs> so I can understand you guys fear now. <laughs> but but don't be scared. Just what will be will be. It is not a do or die affair. But I nobody prays to be rejected, but it's, it does not now mean that you should now worry yourself and let us start having headache because many people will start having headache during this time yes insomnia that is not there before we start coming <laughs> so why do you want to wound yourself one of the things that <laughs> that you can also do at this time if you can play music play music if it is cinema you like watching go and watch movies I'm sorry, my baby is here, so <laughs> I have to put him in the video somehow, somehow. But just, just trust God. Don't, don't overstress your brain. And at this point, you are still waiting for visa. I would have advised, which I know many people will not do. Start checking your models. Go and meet the people in the Telegram group that are already there, doing your course. Ask question. Ask. For their models to ask for their books what they have done what they read start reading it the assignment they gave them during their time start working on it those ones have solved it collect it those are the things you should be doing now and prepare prepare down prepare your things down prepare maybe you so i know some people would have already written their resignation letter and just submit local <laughs> but all the same write it and keep it somewhere <laughs> Don't go and submit when your visa is not out. Just, just trust God. Just trust God, but don't give yourself BP. And just be positive. If you have chose yes and somebody chose no, forget about it. Let it go. That does not determine. It's a point based. It's a point based system. As long as your statement is okay, your WAEC, your English um, WAEC is okay, or CAS is fine. So if those ones are okay you don't have any problem again it's point based they will give you they will surely give you no and yeah they will give you and i feel you but i know that i'm saying that people will not do us by god grace <laughs> so i don't want this video to be too long i just wanted to to gist with you guys and tell you guys that don't hold yourself. Some people are already asking me, will I get a job immediately I start? Will I uh, will I get VRP? Will can you call, can you? Oh God, don't hold yourself. Should I write letter of this one? Should I go and get reference of 20 years? Should I get the one you can? And if you cannot, just calm down and submit it like that. Some people are already scared. Some people got NSF mail that is not straightforward mail answer it respond to it so i know somebody got um non straightforward mail empty one it just means that they are trying to buy more time or they are trying to do more check on your work maybe they are trying to get in touch with your bank they've not responded or they're trying to get in touch with maybe you submitted your reference and they've not responded they just needed to do some check that is why you got an nsf so sometimes you have to do a paid mail or paid call they will surely respond and sometimes some people will go two or three times nsf empty nsf so during those time, our advice, get in touch with your bank or get in touch with your reference or get in touch with somebody you think they might have reached. Because although some bank will not tell you any if decision has been made, like during my time, I checked in on Zenith Bank and I, I told them that, please, oh, um, you should help me check who have UKVI sent you guys confirmation to, to confirm my statement. And they were like, they can't open that up to me. 
I'm at the point my mother was like, why are you disturbing yourself? Why will you go and be calling bank now? Leave them alone. <laughs> but sometimes you might have to do that check. But I just feel stop the anxiety, stop being scared. Just allow God help you. Allow God. Allow God. Just leave it and eat. If you are going to eat, if it is eating, that would <laughs> stop <laughs> you from thinking. Eat. Eat. If you are like me, I will eat. <laughs> I will go and look for good <laughs> jollof rice. Nigerian jollof rice and eat. Eat and not kill yourself. Don't wound yourself. <laughs> Don't lay your BP behind. <laughs> okay, so guys, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching to this point. See you guys next video please don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe and share somebody might need this <laughs> see you guys in uk in case you're coming to hot if you see me please give me a big hug give me one big hug <laughs> love you guys bye